Hi everybody, it's Haley and Steve here from Top Guns in Terre Haute, Indiana. And we've had a lot of great conversations about some etiquette as far as carrying and everything goes, but I've been curious, you know, should I carry chambered or should I carry unchambered? Haley, it's a great question. We get it on a daily basis here in the shop. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, there is no perfect answer to this question. Ultimately, you have to do what fits your needs best. Absolutely. A uh, good buddy of mine is a former Israeli Special Forces. He will tell you that um, if he is not in a combat situation, they don't carry chambered. And uh, so that's why you often hear it referred to as Israeli carry. And I have watched him draw his firearm and put a shot on target, and he can do it quicker than I can draw and put a shot on target while I'm chambered. So, uh, so there's an argument to be made for, well, you do add some extra safety. If somebody, if somebody happens to get to your firearm, um, and get it out now, you know, potentially they're not able to use it against you as easily because it's not chambered and you have that knowledge. There are a lot of good arguments as to why reasons that you would carry unchambered. Okay. okay? The arguments for carrying chambered are, well, look, uh, a, it can be quicker. B, you may not have a second hand available to help you chamber that firearm, which means you now need to be very good at chambering with one hand and there's techniques that we could make a whole nother video on as to how you chamber one one handed but those are things that you need to be aware of and you need to practice 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 so that you get good at it so that you can chamber one handed if you are put in that situation i would tell you uh, i personally do carry chambered it's one of the reasons that i choose a high quality holster you can see our other video in the link down below for what i look for when i'm choosing a holster but i do carry chambered and and um and I feel comfortable doing that because I do carry in a high quality holster. And so ultimately I know that I will, there's a potential that I will be stressed out enough that I may not think to chamber because I don't practice that way enough to draw and chamber every time. And even if I did practice that way enough, I may not have this hand. So now do I only practice draw chamber one handed every time? It's just, it's one of those things that you have to make a decision, commit to it, and build that muscle memory through repetition so that either way you choose to go, you're hopefully not making a bad decision. Sure. Now I have a kind of a curveball question. Sure. So I've seen these new attachments that you can attach in your car yep. that are a giant magnet. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I've heard good stories, I've heard horror stories about, you know, if it's by your knee, you hit the you wreck or something and your knee hits the the firearm and it goes off. So is this something that genuinely happens or is this just kind of a scare tactic? I'm genuinely curious because I think they're interesting. All right, so number one, uh, one of the new ones on the market, and then we're kind of getting into a little bit of a, a, a side category here, but one of the new ones on the market is one that does allow you to carry the, or put the firearm, secure it there without chambering it so that when you grab it, you push down on it right. and it chambers that firearm for you. I will tell you if uh, if I'm carrying a firearm in the vehicle, it's not on my person, I personally do not chamber it. And here's the reason why. If I have time to go to my vehicle to get the firearm, then I probably have time to chamber, number one. But two, more importantly, the likelihood of me needing my firearm versus the likelihood of, God forbid, a child getting into that vehicle and, and getting hurt with it, um, does not, the, the difference there doesn't, the, the, the bad does not outweigh the good. And so for me, I would rather, um, if I'm going to have a firearm in my vehicle, personally, for me, it is a non-chambered firearm. The only time I keep a chambered firearm is if it's under my immediate control. Hopefully this helped to answer some of your questions as to whether you should carry chambered or not chambered, but we are curious, what are your thoughts? Do you agree with Steve? Do you have maybe some differing thoughts? So please let us know, like, comment, share, subscribe to us, whatever you wanna do so you can get our notifications. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care.